Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and I'll take you through a quick demo of our platform that's Teslify. So I encourage you to go through our website, this is teslify.com to get further information about the system and of us as a company. However, if you'd like to try out the platform, we are currently offering you a complimentary trial period wherein you can sign up for free and try to see if the, the platform would suit your company's requirement. So all you need to do is enter your official email ID. I'm going to enter mine. Enter your first name and last name. And say create account. You should receive a six digit verification code on your email ID, uh, which you can enter uh, to log into the system. So allow me a second. And uh, I have successfully logged into the platform. You can create a workspace name. So I'm going to click one, say Teslify.demo. And I can add a designation and say next. So your account and workspace has been successfully created. Uh, next, you have the option of inviting additional colleagues of yours by just en simply entering their email address. So you can add as many users as you'd like to the platform so that all of your entire team can uh, go through the entire system and see how it functions. So let me skip this step for now. You will also receive a pop-up for a demo video in case uh, you want to have a more detailed thorough look through. So as you can see, it's a very simple user-friendly system. We've kept it as clean as possible so that uh, whenever you're logging in, you kind of don't need to spend a lot of time, time trying to navigate through. We've kept it very user-friendly. So as you can see to the top right corner, uh, there's assessments, uh, which allows you to create assessments, which we'll go through a little more in detail. Candidates, with which uh, the tab allows you to kind of um, understand the journey of a candidate and you can review a candidate's performance uh, just by searching by his email id or by the assessment that he's answered in the past uh, tests which is basically our entire test library so our test library as you may see has about 180 plus tests uh, that cover various different skills right from software to cognitive language etc so you can select by test type uh, that's as you can see role specific programming cognitive language etc you can also shortlist by difficulty level which will kind of help you based on the position that you're hiring for that you can select uh, whether you want a beginner level test or an advanced level test and uh, another important feature is called create company test this feature allows you to customize a test entirely based on your company's requirement uh, which you can save into the test library and add it on to an assessment whenever you feel the need to do so so the fourth tab integrations uh, allows you to integrate with any kind of an ATS platform that you're working with. So currently we are working with a couple of ATS platforms. Uh, as you can see, we have Bamboo, HR, Breezy, Clockwork, Comate, uh, Greenhouse, Jazz HR, etc. And the, the list kind of continues. And in case we currently do not integrate with your ATS platform, do write into us and we'd be happy to come back to you uh, on the feasibility of doing so. So uh, let's quickly go through the steps of creating an assessment. So all you need to do is go to the assessments tab, go to create new assessment, and you can name for whatever position it is that you're hiring for. Say, for example, you're hiring for a sales executive. And you can add on a job role. And say create assessment. So once you've uh, hit create assessment there are four simple steps that you need to complete which i'll take you through a little in detail the first being selecting tests so as you might have seen we went through our test library earlier so you can shortlist tests from there or you can just directly go to test type and then shortlist based on the kind of test that you're looking for uh, in testing the candidate so maybe say for example language uh, may be an important factor so say for example we are looking at a uh, basic English test that you want to add on. Just click on add. It gets added on to the uh, right corner over here wherein you can review the overall time limit and the number of questions that will be asked from the candidate. Uh, additionally, say for example, from a sales manager, I'm looking at some kind of um, 
say cognitive ability uh, which will help me to understand the candidate in a little more detail like say for example we have aptitude tests uh, we also have um, say attention to detail so maybe this is an important test that i want to add on so i'll just click on add as you can see now an attention to detail test has also been added on uh, as mentioned you can further select for whatever test uh, types that you're looking for and accordingly enter there's no limit to the number of tests that can be added on so once you've completed the first step let's move on to the second step which is adding questions based on your company's requirement uh, there are four features over here which allows you to combine and select whatever kind of questions uh, you want to incorporate into this test it could be an open-ended question it could be a video recording which would give you a great sense uh, of the candidate and you know give you a great first impression which will help you in understanding the candidate a little more in detail. Uh, you can also select from options of single select and multiple select questions based on your requirement. Uh, the third step basically is um, qualifying questions. This kind of allows you to segregate the number of people that will be actually answering the assessment. So only the candidates who meet your basic criteria would be the ones that uh, would actually attempt the test. So these could be questions like um, the candidate's current uh, location, are they willing to relocate or, uh, you know, things like are they willing to work remotely, uh, the educational qualification, number of years of experience, uh, as per, you know, whatever is the basic criteria that you're looking for in a candidate. So uh, the qualifying questions appear to the candidate First, only if they qualify through to the next round is when they are taken to the actual assessment uh, and then only their information will flow into the system. So that's about the third step. And uh, the last but not the least step, uh, if at all, would be a, a video uh, which you can add on to kind of, um, uh, you know, for your company's branding purpose, uh, you could uh, add on a video um, even giving personalized instructions to the candidate so that uh, uh, the candidate feels ca comfortable while answering the test. So once you've hit all the four uh, steps, you can just click on done and your assessment will be completed. So let me click on done. And as you can see, your assessment has been successfully created. So let me take you quickly through the steps of inviting a candidate uh, to answer this assessment. So all you need to do is go to invite candidates to take assessment. Uh, if you have a few candidates, you can just enter their first name, last name, email address and invite from here. Alternatively, if you have a bulk number of candidates, you can just go to invite bulk candidates. Uh, you can even upload a CSV file here directly with a couple of email IDs and send it out. Alternatively, you can generate a public link and copy paste this link into an email body and send it out to candidates. So let me also take you through the process of how a candidate would uh, have to answer this test. So once the candidate clicks on the link, uh, this is the page that will open up. Uh, the candidate will need to enter their credentials. Uh, once they enter their email ID, a six digit verification code is sent to their email ID for verification purpose. And that's how they can begin the test. So allow me a second. So as you can see, the candidate will be one that their camera and mic needs to be on as the entire session of them answering the, ses uh, the assessment is going to be proctored. So once they hit next, they are kind of given a brief on the total number of tests, uh, the number of questions that they're going to be asked, how long they're given to answer these questions and other instructions which will help them in preparing before actually beginning the test. So once they start the test, as you can see, uh, it goes to full screen mode. The candidate cannot leave the assessment window. Uh, since your camera is on, it's going to be taking screenshots every few seconds and uh, also ensuring that in case they are on like you know 
minimizing the window and going outside to Google and answer, etc. It will all be featured in their ultimate results. So the candidate, as you can see, is given uh, the time clock as well to ensure that he answers all the questions. And all he needs to do is select the right answer and go to the next question. So that's about how simple it is in terms of the candidate uh, answering and completing this test. So let me take you next through the steps of how you can evaluate a candidate's performance. So once we go back to the assessments tab, you'll see that one candidate has completed this test and all you can do uh, to review this candidate's performance is go into the assessment and you'll be able to see the name of the candidate uh, and the overall score that the candidate has received on this test. And to further evaluate their results, you can open the candidate's performance sheet and basically see when they were invited, when they answered, how long they took to answer this test, what was the average score. Uh, you can further understand details in terms of uh, uh, like you know uh, different areas under English uh, in which they have scored well or not scored well uh, like say for example synonyms parts of speech etc you can even see in attention to detail so it will show for every test separately and overall uh, give you an average score uh, trust score is what we were also talking about in terms of being able to see whether their webcam was enabled taking screenshots every few seconds etc so we can also uh, rate the candidate over here and uh, write in any remarks that you may have additionally. So another important feature that will help most HR people would be to export this into a PDF file. So once you do so, uh, you will be able to see the candidate's performance overall in a report card, which uh, will allow you to ex uh, share this PDF document with uh, any of your colleagues who would be taking in uh, the next round of interview. So, a few other features also include where you can uh, send out results of the candidates to uh, you know ensure that they receive uh, and know about their scores. Uh, you can also reject a candidate and uh, the candidate will receive a rejection notification email in case you would like to do so. So let's quickly go back to assessments and explain to you a few other features. Uh, so as you can see over here, one candidate is answered. So if you have multiple candidates, all will show one below the other. You can just shot, uh, sort uh, the candidates by their merit and then accordingly select the top 10 or top 20 candidates that you may want to shortlist and further interview in the next process. Uh, you can also uh, export all this details and data into an Excel or CSV file that will help you in further working with the information that you have. And once you've completed uh, uh, this position and filled up filled in the right candidate to fit your company's requirement you can just simply go to archive and archive this assessment so once you've archived the assessment it will not show on your main dashboard and you can always unarchive it whenever this position reopens up in the future so that about covers um, you know basic gist of uh, a platform wherein uh, we went through how you can create an assessment uh, we went through how you can evaluate and understand a candidate's performance and the test library of course which uh, will give you further insight on what kind of tests we have we encourage you to go through this and come back to us with feedback in case there is any specific skill set that you're looking for in testing with your candidates we'll be happy to work on the same and integrations the fourth tab which kind of allows you to seamlessly integrate with a couple of your application tracking systems which will make it a uh, an easy process to navigate between the two. Additionally, you can also, as I mentioned, add on colleagues to manage team, and you can have multiple workspaces that you can create in case you're hiring for different companies, and you can easily switch between the workspaces all in this one uh, login itself. So we hope that you have the time to kind of explore and understand our system a little more in detail and see how the platform can help you in your hiring needs so we look forward to connecting with you and uh, having you join up with us uh, have a great day ahead thank you